see there's been uh, a terrific atmosphere here there is great expectation excitement and it has built nicely in these idyllic conditions conditions which are certainly playing their part in creating a glorious ambience it's quite a struggle to get in here points of access hard to come by and an awful lot of people gathering to get through the gates but regardless of that there's a great feel here and much excitement for the game ahead and this place is living up to its reputation as one of the noisiest corners of the footballing world no decibel spared in this collective chorus things have got on the way here pretty promptly Spread out to the left. Pavar. Lampard. And it's a crossfield ball towards the other flank. Oh, the less said about that pass, the better. That's just playing it safe and simple. Tries to thread one through. It's a pretty loose pass. Lampard. Well timed. Excellent interception. Pressure already building up here. Now he's off and running. That has been cut short. Casemiro. Now it's Messi. Robson and the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside yeah we're actually currently watching a contest of, of insipid probing. The only way is up, I hope. It's an inviting looking ball that. Casemiro, and it's Lampard. Played out to the left flank, Mbappe! Delivery from Mbappe. And he's taking no chances there. Messi moves short. Club America can counter promptly here. to the left oh, he refuses to take the bait and he gets rid in a hurry and there is the half-time whistle but it has been a half largely of could haves and should haves perhaps the more impatient amongst the supporters will feel they're overdue a goal but it's certainly not for the want of trying, so nothing to show as yet. At the break, it's nil-nil. So your views on the first half? Well, they look lost for ideas and, and lacking in talent, which all contributes to a, a chronic case of impotence. So they head in no further forward. The score here, still nil-nil. And the second half gets underway. Barcelona, pretty fortunate not to be trailing at half-time. They've been lacklustre and, and second-best for me. And if ever a situation demanded a telling off from the boss, it's this one. He has to spark a reaction. Rodriguez. A 
and he just whacks it away. Intercepts the throw. That's well read. No messing about, just bludgeoned away. Cross goes in there. And he gets rid in a hurry. Well, that's the first attempt, Peter, we've seen at one of those raking passes just to spread the play. Goalkeeper's ball. The attendance for this match was 71,898. Steered out wide, but he won't reach that one. Casemiro. Out to the right. Messi just eases him off the ball. Out to the left it goes. Very little to report from an attacking perspective. Jim, it's a cagey old game. Yeah, I think it's a scoreline in keeping with what we've seen up to this point. Combined attempts at goal aren't high in numbers, and we could do with something to spark this contest in the life. on the field, number 10. Coming on the field is number 6. Akanji. Lampard, Mbappe, he's a sharp little ball here. Substitution on the field, number 33. Couple of changes Coming then in quick succession. Yeah, there's going to be a significant change of approach, I think. They really are shaking up their attack now. Good play. And no, he's seen through all of that. Don't you just love the level of intensity here? Neither is prepared to back down, and, and to be honest, that's how it should be. Mbappe is sharing after that one. Haaland spread out to the left. Delivery from Mbappe. Danger averted for now. And he's there to belt it away. Two you wonder if indicated. that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. And there goes the final whistle. Well, a frustrating game for attackers on either side. They hardly had a sniff. Defence is broadly in charge, and it has finished goalless. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Barcelona may have approached this game as a probable win, Peter, and didn't address the basics properly that may have achieved it. And with that, it's time for me to thank Jim.